Hi there. In my previous video, um, the link must be in the. We discussed about multiple kind of editors, and we left out one of the most important editor, called as the HTML editor. So let me take you to the HTML editor part of it. Uh, so we're back to the folder inside the cPanel and there's a file that I want to edit. So I select this file index.html and as you can see the HTML editor is enabled. I click on it and it gives me some message. I click on edit. Okay, so once I click on the edit, you can see that there's a big editor that has opened so now what we can do with this so if I write a piece of code let's say hello world okay and this is how HTML will be written but here we are in a text editor not HTML editor so what we are going to do is just going to write the hello world as if we are writing it in the word document and if we check the source code now by clicking on the source button we'll see that the paragraph has already been inserted go back to preview uh, sorry not to the preview click on the source to enable all the buttons and you can see that what I did at the starting, the P and the slash P are already there. So just as if you're typing in a Word document, start typing. Hello world, how are you doing? Where, where are you from? Where is the newspaper lying? Okay. And what other formattings can you apply? So if you see, there are a number of styles available here. So if I want to make it bold, all I need to do is to click on the B button and check the source once again. So now my bold part is enclosed in the strong slash strong tags which means that it is going to appear as bold how do i know just click on the preview see okay this is really cool just click on the source button to go back to the styles and now you can do a lot more stuff in here so Let's select this uh, statement and click on the styles. So let's make it small. Okay, let's see what happens in the source code. You can see that this text is now enclosed in the small slash small and if you check the preview once again, you can see that this code has been made smaller than the normal code. Okay. And go back to source and just separate it out. If I don't like anything, just keep on undoing. Cool, isn't it? okay and other things is that you can create a list by clicking here just select all these uh, sentences and click on the list and hopefully the list will be created if you look at the source and if you understand a little bit of HTML the organized ordered list has been created look at the preview that's how it works Go back to the code and don't want it just press ctrl z and it's just like any other editor or but on the web and also you can introduce 
form controls in your HTML file. That's a wonderful thing. If you want to introduce a text field, you can give a text my text value get to it blah 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 whether it's required or not press ok and there's a field and next to that you can insert a button name my button click on it give it a text value type is button there's some more types if you know a little bit of HTML and if we now check the preview Awesome, isn't it? So this is HTML made really easy. We are not even looking at the source code. We're just creating things on the fly. And then there are more uh, options like formatting of the text. We can just do it a uh, um, right line. So here it goes flying to the right hand side. We can create a link out of it. So let's give a URL yahoo.com, press OK and do a preview and click. This is a link now. Click on it and it goes to the yahoo.com. All right. That's really cool. Okay. And you can insert a table or horizontal line. Or special characters there's so many things and you can change the font the font size the color without ever going into the HTML code but if you are good at HTML code go ahead and modify it so make it italicized like I know a little bit of HTML so I can go ahead and change it and when I Check the uh, editor once again. It is italicized. Plenty of stuff that you can do, and uh, it is very handy for uh, you to make changes to the HTML document without actually working on the source code. So I suggest instead of me going into the every feature of HTML uh, editing and designing, you go ahead and start playing with this tool. And if you have any questions regarding HTML, you can always write it in the comments and I'll be happy to answer. I hope it was good enough for you. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe to my channel by clicking the red button and share this video with your friends. They would also know a lot of good things about this awesome editor. Thanks for watching once again. Bye-bye.